In this video, we're going to be talking about this cute little pet called a sugar glider. But also, we're going to be talking about the chloroplast, specifically its structure. So here we have, once again, Captain Jack Sparrow stranded on a lost island, okay? And he's thinking about what leaves are really made of. So we're going to help him out. So we know if we look real close at a leaf, right, what we see is a plant cell, right? Because plants are made up of plant cells, just like humans are made up of animal cells. Now, what is unique about a plant cell? Various things are unique, but one important key one is this little structure here called the chloroplast. It's written in the clouds, okay? Chloroplast. So when we zoom into one of these chloroplasts, um, we're going to take a look at what they, their structure is like, okay? So let's let's bring in a thor um Chloroplast. Here we have a chloroplast. Okay, we're zooming in because everything is better when it's bigger. So Now, okay, this is a chloroplast an organelle of a plant cell now Let's open it up and see what's going on inside So we slice it open we take off the top layer and we can see wow There's a bunch of stuff in there. Trust me. It's not that complicated We're just gonna I'm just gonna point out some key ones that you need to know so Notice, what's the most obvious thing you notice? Probably this blue thing here, and then all these disc-like things here, right? These disc, flat pancake-like things. What is, what are those? Okay, these disc um, pancakes are called thylakoids. Thylakoids, okay? I'm going to put it here, thylakoids, okay? Those are called thylakoids. Now, we're going to zoom into one of these thylakoids because thylakoid is one of the most important. It's actually, it's the most important structure in the chloroplast. Okay. It is one of the most important ones. I would say the most important. So let's, let's take a look and zoom into it. Okay. Okay. We're going to zoom into, let's say this one there. Okay. There's not almost no structures you need to know about the thylakoid, but I like to zoom into things to make them look easier. So we zoom into one. Okay. Here we have it. We zoom into a thylakoid one of these disc structures. These, this disc structure, um, when we open it up, so we're gonna slice this one open up from the front, okay, which we'll slice a piece off. We can see it is pretty much empty on the inside and it's got a membrane, okay, a membrane. The empty inside is called the thylakoid space. Makes, makes sense because it's an empty space in the thylakoid. And then we've got the thylakoid membrane, this very thick membrane, okay. All that I'm gonna tell you now because there's many videos that I'll make, that I'll explain exactly how photosynthesis happened. All that I want you to know now is that the thylakoid um, is where the first part of photosynthesis happens. The first part. The part that depends on sunlight. Okay? The part that depends on sunlight. So, the part that depends on sunlight is called light-dependent part of photosynthesis. So that's all I'm going to tell you now. Okay? This is just structure video. Just know that the thylakoid is where the light dependent part of photosynthesis is going to happen, the part that depends on light. Now, what else do we got here? That's all I want you to know for the thylakoid. Let's now point out, so we, we talked about this is the thylakoid. Do you notice how they're stacked on top of each other like a pancake? When they're stacked on top of each other and they form this um, sac or this like, um, the stack, we call this a grana, okay? Grana. So a name for all the thylakoids stacked on top of each other is called a grana. This is the reason why they stack on top of each other like this is because it improves um, the light absorbance, okay? It improves the surface area because if you have so many stacked on top of each other, it means light can be absorbed from the sun um, from all the angles, the top, the side, the front, the back, okay? It increases the area for light absorption, okay? That's the purpose of that. Now, what's next? Next would be this part here. This part, you see this little strip connecting the different thylakoids. This part is called the lamella. Lamella, that's a fun word, a lamella. Okay, lamella, I'll just put it here. I'm trying to color code a little bit, except for the grana. That, I didn't color code there, it'd be too much green. But yeah, lamella, thylakoid, and grana, that's what we got so far. Now, let's go, before we get to this one here, I want to get to these membranes, okay? So what we call the names of these two membranes combined, if you give them one name combined, it's called the chloroplast envelope, okay? It's an envelope is something that holds something else, right? So if you have a letter envelope, it holds a letter, right? So the chloroplast envelope 
holds all of these things inside, okay? So it behaves like the envelope, these two layers, the most outer and the inner, inner layer. What do we give the names of these two layers, the inner and outer layer? Guess what? Inner and outer. So that's pretty easy. So we know the inner one, so the one most close to the inside is called the inner membrane. And then this one we call the outer membrane. And they both, um, both of these together um, can, um, comprise the chloroplast envelope, okay? So this, this plus this is this, okay? Real simple. Okay, let's get now to this little mysterious blue thing here. The mysterious blue thing there is called a starch grain, okay? I made it blue because it's blue. A starch grain is a little blob, okay? And what it is, is pretty much glucose, okay? So we know that photosynthesis um, makes makes a bunch of glucose, right? Photosynthesis is making food through light, okay? Humans can't do that. We need to eat our food. A plant can make its own glucose from sunlight and some other reactions. Once it makes that food, where does that food go? Once it makes that food, that food gets ag they aggregate together and form this starch grain, okay? They aggregate together. A bunch of glucoses um, um, combined together is called starch, okay? So starch is a bunch of glucoses aggregated together and it's called a starch grain. So whenever the cell needs it or the plant needs this energy, it will just go to it and break it down and use it. So it's pretty much um, like the cupboard in your kitchen where all the candy is hidden, okay? That's the starch grain. Okay, we're almost done, almost done, bear, bear with me. Do you notice the, okay, next very important one, stroma. While you're still here, let's get to the important stuff. Um, we've done now the most important stuff, so the stroma is the next important thing. The stroma is, you notice all these things inside the chloroplast, right? Um, they don't take up all the space, right? There's still some space in between them and all that, right? It still has some air around it. The air and space around all of these structures is called the stroma. So the empty space inside the chloroplast is called the stroma. Um, notice how I said that um, in, the, in the thylakoid is where the first part of photosynthesis happens, right? The light-dependent part. So the light-independent part, the second part of photosynthesis, happens outside of this, outside. And guess what's outside of it? Outside of these thylakoids is empty space called the stroma. And the stroma has a bunch of important molecules in it that, can, that is responsible for doing the second part of photosynthesis, okay? Okay, one more, uh, two more small things, lipid droplets and ribosomes. Okay, lipid droplets are these little yellow things, okay? They are just little bits of fat. Just like humans have fat, plants also have some fat. That's all you gotta know for that. No more, there's obviously more information you can know about it, but for the IB, you don't need to know anything more. Just know that this structure exists. Next, ribosomes. So ribosomes are these little dots here, these very small dots, not the yellow ones, the very small dots. And just like in humans, the ribosomes are responsible for making proteins, right? They um, translate, I mean, they translate your DNA. Maybe you haven't learned about that yet, but basically these are little machinery that can help make proteins. And proteins are important to allow everything to happen properly inside your body or inside the plant, okay? It's very crucial. Um, okay, just because you need to know, um, so this is it. That's all the names I'm going to go over. But just because you need to know uh, what it looks like, give me a second here. Sorry, it's, something's moving here. Okay. Okay, just because you need to know um, what it looks like also in a light, in a because this is a drawing version, right? What we did here was a drawing version. You also need to know the electron microscope version, and that's this one. So you need a very powerful tool to look very super closely into the into the cells. And if you look close enough, this is the image, this is the photo they managed to take. Okay, so this is a real image. And let's compare. So the thylakoids are really hard to see, right? But we can see these thick black things. These thick black things are called the grana. And they are made up of a bunch of thylakoids, right? So that's the only difference. You can't really see the individual thylakoids, but you can see the grana. Um, these little light spots, they are called starch grain, okay? Starch grain. So that's the blue, the blue spot, okay? That's easy to see, right? Um, we know we can see the envelope. That's the surrounding membrane. And we can see 
um, the stroma, which is the empty spaces here in between. And we can also see the connections. These little thin lines, these little thin lines are the parts connecting the little um, the little grana, okay? So that's it. That's all you need to know regarding the real structure, the real one. Because in my drawing, we can see more. But in the real photo you're going to see from the real microscope, you can't see that much. Just the starch grain, the empty spaces in between called the stroma, the envelope. We can't even see the two layers. And you can see the connections, these little lines in between the grana. And that's it for this video.